back everyone this is Sylvia from Aussie Scrapper and today's layout is from this sketch that I found on Pinterest and it's from Sunday's sketch and stamp blog I will link the link in the description below and I am using some of the Coco Vanilla Love Always collection I actually don't have much left of the Love Always collection so I've got it on my desk to use up all of it and my reward is going to be once I have used up every single little bit of it, I can then buy another collection from Coco Vanilla. So you might see bits and pieces from this collection over the next coming layouts as I'm trying to use it all up. And while I think of it, I hope everyone had a very Merry Christmas. I know I did. It was uh, Christmas Day was actually quite nice. It wasn't hot for a change, but Christmas Eve, my gosh, did we still swelter over here with 43 degrees oh but anyway christmas day landed up being nice and cool and what a relief now this is the frolic paper um, what's left of it anyway and i'm just going to use it as a mat i believe and trying to get through it all so just trying to work on my layers as per the sketch now this has been one of the first collections i did buy i don't have a lot of collections I don't tend to buy collections I prefer to mix and match my paper as I see fit but I must admit when you do have a collection it does make things easier as you get rid of that guesswork now this little stencil here is from Kaiser Craft and I believe it's called cherry blossoms you will see that at the beginning and I am loving my color cubes from color blast and I'm just mixing a few colors I must admit, I really, really love how this background turned out. And once I get started, I quite like how all the colours sort of blend together, the blues and the yellow and a teeny bit of green that I use, that I end up covering the whole entire cardstock. And, yeah, I absolutely love this background. And if you think it does look like a bit of a mess, it, well, most of it gets covered up, but... Um, I was quite sad to cover it up because I was quite happy with it. I'm just going to be working on my paper layouts now. And I do follow the sketch in regards to the paper layouts because I quite liked how they put it all together. But when it comes to the embellishment side, I more or less go on my own tangent. And, and that's okay. I mean, you, you can just draw inspiration from a sketch. You don't have to follow it completely. So I did cut off a teensy bit of two sides of the of my um, creation here only because I did want to give it a bit of a mat so there I go using double sided tape and I'm just getting a bit of a mat and now using some uh, what am I using distress oxides and this is the cracked pistachio I'm just inking the edges I just love how that sort of brings it all together and look at that I just love this background that's a packaging technique Anyway, enough about that, but I guess by now you know that I love my background, and I really, really do. Now, this product is um, a Nuance product, and the colour I'm using is called Rosebud, and I did use another colour that I mixed with it, and that was Old Rose, and it's um, it's a powdery form, and you can make it into a water watercolour or in this case, I just mixed it in with some texture paste and I'm using it through my stencil. And I love this stencil from Kaiser Craft. It's called Cherry Blossom, as I think I mentioned earlier. And I just love the daintiness of it. And to me, um, it was very nostalgic for some reason. And since the uh, photo that I'm scrapping is of an old card, I just thought it was it just went really well with it, the nostalgic feel of this old card. Now, I did cut my title on the silhouette machine and I am calling it this old cart because that cart my husband picked up at a second-hand store for, oh gosh, it was like $10 or something. And when our son was probably about three and everyone that comes here plays with it. And by me, by everyone, I mean all the children. We can have a jumping castle in the backyard for a party everyone will be wanting to have a, a go of this old cart so um it, it, it had um a second life when it came to this household and 
it's one of the most played toys. And even when the steering wheel came off, my husband just ended up putting a a wooden steering wheel on it, and it's still going. And even growing children love to have a go on it. So there you go. Sometimes the cheapest things that you buy bring the most joy. I'm just mounting some of these word stickers onto some cardstock here and then inking the edges. And I'm just going to put it on the top right hand corner. And what it says, um, one of it says this is the best and the other one says something old, which I thought was quite appropriate because this card is very old and we have no idea who used to own it before it found it, um, its second home here. And I'm just thinking the edges of some more words from the Love Always collection. And this says hello and then happiness. In the end, I really like how this layout came together. It had a bit of an old world feel about it. But um, I didn't intend to do that. It just sort of came about as I started thinking about the title. And I wanted it to be about the, the cart and how we found it and all the joy it's it's brought so I'm just using uh, some flowers that I've had in my stash for ages and I just want to get rid of it I really really want to get through all my stash I've just got way too much of it I do land up removing that pink flower that's um, or sort of reddish flower that's inside that pink flower and I do put a flare button there instead which I'm not sure if I do that on camera or off camera but the flare button says pink isn't just the color it's an attitude and it there it is there's that flare button that I put there and I had to put that in because this was the stage where um, my little girl all she wanted to do was wear pink everything had to be pink so that when I saw that flare button, I went, yes, it has to go there. It has nothing to do with the cart. It has got to do with the fact that she's wearing all pink head to toe. And even at such a young age, she's got a mind of her own. And, yeah, sometimes I just can't change it. And at the end of the day, I just think, look, if you want to wear all pink, go ahead, wear all pink because it's not worth fighting about. So I'm just making a little tag here for my journal and I add some, do I add some string or twine? I add something to it, I can't remember. I did this layout quite a while ago. So there it is and I just stick it down and I believe that's it for me. So everyone, enjoy your Boxing Day. Uh, well, this won't go live on Boxing Day, but... Enjoy the rest of your, your holidays and I will see you soon. Bye, everyone.